The real-life Dexter killer who murders criminals. A killer is a killer, and no matter the amount of ethical reasons you try to put into the moral scale, to unlawfully kill another human being is still a crime. But despite this truth, we are still sometimes drawn into the concept of vigilante killing. That's when the bad guys get the justice they deserve. Especially in fiction, there are a lot of killer vigilantes we tend to root for. Probably the most famous one is Dexter Morgan, played by actor Michael C. Hall. This character from the Showtime series Dexter is a sociopath who targets people that are deemed guilty of murder. Quite unsurprising though, reality couldn't be farther from fiction. Meet the man from Brazil, whose exploits in life probably have inspired the TV show character. Born to Kill Pedro Rodriguez Filho was born in a farming village of Santa Rita de Sapucai in Minas Gerais, Brazil. And while most of the serial killer origins are often attributed to a metaphorical dent in the head, Pedro had it quite literally. He came to this world with an injured skull, which he got due to his father beating his mother while he was still inside the womb. His tendency to commit murder surfaced early in his life. While he was still 13 years old, he had a heated argument with an older cousin. Things must have escalated from verbal to physical, during which he tried to kill the boy. Philho drew his first blood a year later when he killed the vice mayor of their town, who fired his father after being suspected of stealing. He went on to kill another guard who turned out to be the alleged real thief. At that point, no one knows exactly how he evaded arrest, but he later moved to Sao Paulo, living in the big city further emboldened Philho to commit more heinous crimes. Kill in the name of love. Surviving in the city meant he had to live off from what he was quite confident in doing, killing. According to reports, the now so-called Pedrino Matador or Killer Petty would kill drug traffickers after robbing them of their goods. One of the drug dealers he killed had a wife named Maria Aparecida, Olympia, who was also known as Botina. The two lived together and planned on getting married. Pedrino Matador went on to inherit the business of the deceased, whereby the responsibilities also included eliminating rivals. For this, he killed three competitions. It would have gone well for everyone if not for the death of Botina, who was killed by gang members. Pedrino escaped the onslaught and built his own army. Path of Vengeance Pedrino was severely affected by Botina's death, so much so that he swore revenge to those responsible. Like a classic revenge story, Philho tortured and even killed several individuals in order to extract information about Botina's murderers. It turned out that the mastermind was another business rival who got conned by Botina in the past. Along with his henchman, Podrino paid his target a visit at a wedding party. The chaos resulted to the death of seven people and sixteen wounded. He went on to hunt down the others and killed them all. In case we forgot to mention, at the time all these killings happened, Pedrino Matador was not even freaking 18 years old yet. Honor Thy Father It's quite scary to know that a person would reach that level where he would already be too cold to feel remorse or even apprehensions and ending someone else's life. So much so that he wouldn't even hesitate to do it to his own blood. Having heard about how his father butchered his mother, Philho set his eyes upon his old man. At the time, the older Philho was detained and awaiting trial in a city jail. He went into his father's holding cell, and there he killed him. The act was rather brutal. Apart from the 22 stab wounds, Philho cut out his victim's heart and chewed a part of it before throwing it away. The first arrest. Philho was 20 years old when he was finally apprehended. But even in his arrest, the infamous killer Petty couldn't contain the itch to kill some goonies. It happened that while being transported to prison, he was riding along with a known rapist. By the time the police went to open the back of their transporter, the other prisoner was already lifeless. Philho immediately claimed responsibility for the crime. Inside the prison, Philho sort of became a punisher who reportedly killed almost 50 of his fellow inmates. According to testimonies, the convicts Pedrino killed were the ones whom he thought deserved retribution. The others were those unfortunate ones who got paid to assassinate the criminal slayer. Wild and free. By the time he achieved his hundredth kill, you'd expect the man to be deemed dangerous even for criminals and have been locked up in total isolation. But that's not how his story ends. 
Philho was originally sentenced to 128 years in prison, and with the subsequent murders he committed behind the bars, it got extended to 400 years. The funny thing is, under the Brazilian law, the maximum prison sentence a convict is allowed to serve should not exceed 30 years. Having been imprisoned since 1973, Philho got his freedom in 2007. Pedro Rodriguez Filho is now 65 years old, and according to recent information, is now a totally changed man. He has since been working on an autobiography and a YouTube channel where he purportedly advises young people to avoid the life of crime. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.